welcome to Africa Europe Race TV with your host in Benin City, Dede Saint. We are going to be talking about the increased rate of unemployment in Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Sir, please, we want to know your name. My name is Mr. Kele Chuku. Thank you, sir. So we are asking the increased rate of unemployment in Nigeria, especially the youth. How do you see it? It's very, very wrong. So the youths here, we are suffering in this country just because of no job opportunities and all that. And uh, our leaders, I don't think if they are doing anything about it. So all we are praying that they should just create job opportunities for youths. I think I know of a friend who has graduated for years now. He's doing nothing, just sit at home. Feed by, uh, it's, 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 by, his, uh, it, he fed by his family and all that. So my prayer is God should help him to provide him a good job and all that. So instead of voting for the government, is there nothing that can be done? You know, uh, yes, there's something can be done, but you need empowerment. Like me, for instance, I'm a chair by profession. So I was invited to a state by a known uh, by a popular uh, eatery here in Edo State. So by the time they stopped me, I looked at it, that going back to Lagos State is another big thing to me again. I said, okay, let me just relax with my family. I start making snacks, taking from my house to offices, all the banks in the Kenwa Road, from the Kenwa Road to uh, uh, this thing, they all know me. So even up to now, I'm still in need. But thank God, God has helped me. I own an eatery now. So, and that, that one did not stop me from moving around and selling my snacks and all that, I still do it. So them, not all that can do it, not all who has that strength and uh, uh, mind to do such. So some we are, some are just waiting for someone to come and just okay, take this and start. But I myself have not waited for anybody. So that is it. Don't you think that is amazing? It's in the other way around, it's not a lazy. I didn't see that something that is lazy. It's all they need is I, as I as I as I earlier said, they don't need some don't know where to start. After many years in school. And they will send yourself as uh, uh, maybe as uh, someone who has graduated that need a white collar job. So since it's not coming, since the since the white job did not come to their way, they they, they cannot some cannot do anything. They decide what they do is maybe they, they just decided to stay at home to, to wait until when the white collar job will come. Thank you so Good afternoon. Much. Thank you, sir. Sir, please we want to know your name. Um, my name is Omori Lewis. All right, we're talking about unemployment, the increase in it in Nigeria. How do you see it? Uh, the increase of unemployment is too much in Nigeria. Uh, to me, I would say it seems the government is not helping. There are many graduates and no work to do after graduating. Uh, if they have set up some things for the graduates, I believe what is happening nowadays will not be uh, occurring. So I, what I would just want to do is, I, let, me see, let me use the, this opportunity to plead with the government. They should try to do something because what is happening nowadays is not what's supposed to be happening due to the fact that no work for people like me now i'm a graphics uh computer graphics uh if also the government can come out to give out like loans to people people can use it to establish their business so that is what we need in this nation because the way things are going now is only god that will help so let me say it again i'm using this medium to beg the governor uh, the government that they should come out to at least give out some loans to some people that there are many people that have and work. What is delaying them is the money to start the business. So that is just as I can say for Apart from that, don't you think the population of Nigeria also has a contributing effect to the business rate of Yes, you know the population is too much. But the thing is no we cannot really help ourselves except if there is something doing. Men like what I said earlier, many of us have something to do. But the money to start it is an issue. So if I would still say that if the government can come out and help, though he is trying, you know, I think he created this uh, those jobs something. So 
he's trying his best, but let him do more for uh, the people of Edo State. So that is what I can say. The people, the. Do you have anything more to say? Hey, <laughs> what I have to say than to say, government should come out and help. Should really help the people. You know, this time is this pandemic period, or how would I put it? And this different things are occurring, and there are different kind of crimes here and there. So it is in the hands of the government and with the citizens to cooperate together, so that people can live in a peaceful environment. Because the things are going now, nobody can predict the next future. So I would just say, if the government and the citizens can come out to put this in order, we will have a better Edo state. That's what I can say. Doctor, how are you? Fine, sir. Sir, please, we want to know your name. I am Dr. Onogulu Festus, a former, a former senior special assistant to the governor of Edo wow, State of Forestry. Wow, wow, wow. It's a privilege, sir. Yeah. A privilege, sir. So we are asking the increasing rates of unemployment in Nigeria, not well, uh, first, yes, it's, though, though you, are, you are restricting yourself to Nigeria, it's a global issue. But Nigeria, we have some, uh, we, we have a lot of uh, peculiar, so we have, we have a lot of things that have contributed to this situation. You know, the factors are so many. Like maybe like the fall in the value of the Naira, some harsh governmental policies, you know, and uh, and uh, most of our youth these days, they pass through you know, the system without the system actually going through them. Because most of our graduates, they are unemployable. You know, so you cannot actually blame all these ent 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 entrepreneurs for not, uh, get, for, for not, for not uh, wanting their, their labor. You know, and most of them, actually these days, they don't actually just want to work, but so, some of them. This value of work ethics is no more in them, you know. They just want the shortest way, the shortest way out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. So there are some that likes white collar jobs, yes. and we are trying to tell them you can do others' jobs. So what do you have to say about that, sir? White collar job. Well, fine. Yes. Uh huh. Is it brought down to our system of, uh, of, of 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 education? It is not these days that they are trying to lay emphasis on inter entrepreneurial uh, education. Uh, in university, and uh, one professor, Ibnewaka, of University of Benin, who is the director right now, the man is doing a great job there, trying to impute these skills. Because you can only give out what you have. What you don't have, you can't give it. You can't give it out. So that's why, you know, uh, in the wisdom of uh, Professor Lilian Salami, the president vice chancellor of University of uh, Benin, he, he appointed the uh, professor Ibnewaka to that position, and he's doing a lot on the most serious note trying to impute this entrepreneurial skill in them. And uh, in the next couple of years, we'll see greater uh, improvement in that, uh, in that uh, direction. All these things were not done in the past, in this uh, country, but based on our current societal needs, a lot of emphasis is being shared to that uh, area. And, and, and I think our investors have been, they are taking the lead in this direction. Under Professor Ibinewaka, who, 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 who is the current he is now the current director of that, uh, of, of, of that department, of that area. Thank you, sir. Sir, do you have anything more to say about it, especially in Edo State? Well, Edo State, well, sure. And to, again, look at us again, Governor Baseki, the man is trying so much to reduce unemployment. He has built industrial hubs, you know, where they have 24 power electricity. You can go there, you understand, you work, you don't have, uh, you don't have power problem. And secondly, again, look at the, the recent structure is doing the civil service these days. Employ young, fresh, and graduate, trying to reform the civil, the civil uh, service, modernizing the civil service. Eh? You can see what he, you can see the number of employment he did of, uh, of recent. And recently, again, he also sent out more vacancies. He was putting about 1,400 graduates into the, into the civil service. And then uh, at least look at the multiply effect of that 1,400. At least no other governor has done this one in the past because he's a visionary, he's a visionary leader and a digital governor. And we must commend him for that uh, effort. You, you hear what, what he said in recent? He said that he wants to concentrate more on the civil service force before politicians. I'm a politician too. We like what he has just said because 
The strength of any government lies in the civil service, and that what he is doing, re reforming the civil the civil service. Thank you so much. It was a very good afternoon, afternoon, madam. Thank you, sir. Sir, please, we want to know your name. My name is Collins. Thank you, sir. The increasing rates of unemployment in Nigeria. How do you see it? Oh my God. This will call economic sabotage. A political brigadage. <laughs> One, the government of the people have a lot to do. You can see, I'm the one that's talking to you, a graduate for University of Benin. A graduate for 2017 now, and a job. I'm just doing a little petty job and I've written a lot of application in different organizations in different establishments and all what I have to say who is your brother who is your sister and now we are talking about the increase of unemployment you might decide to, uh, to apply for any job before you know your name is already cancelled I remember when I applied for Niger Data Affair during the time of Good Lord Jonathan. And a friend of mine called me from Abuja that he congratulated me that Collins, I saw your name on notice boy in Abuja. Congratulations. After the removal of Good Lord Jonathan, and our president uh, uh, Bwari Regine came in and I couldn't find my name. And you want me to be happy? Yes, I did. And someone called me from Abuja that I saw my name. And I was waiting with the Osu Colors to resume my duty. Before I know nothing. You see, the government, in quotes, have a lot of a lot of work to do. Now, you see our politician who earned me about 30 something million or whatever. A graduate who left university, even five thousand is not Emmy at, at, at the end of the month. It's a political buwaka. I'm a sociology and anthropology for the University of Benin. So since the government cannot provide you a job, is there nothing you can do to assist yourself and your family? Because I saw you are getting wedding in Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yes. Actually, I have a car which I do as a car drop. And I used to feed my family. Because when I look at the economics, there's no way. If the government couldn't help you, you have to help yourself. So that's what I have to do. And how to send you, how to pass a message to the government. If they want the issue of the employment to reduce, number one, they need to call it the youth along. By create a enabling environment for the youth, engaging in the interpretation development, by creating awareness. You understand me? Bring them back. Set up a little skis. For the youths and let them be doing a little things. Remove them from the streets. I bet you, if government can do this, the unemployment of the youths will be able to reduce drastically. The government of the day have to go back to a drawing board to work on their research. Because the youth in the street they are they are not happy. They are suffering. And if somebody who graduated for investor being have a first class and driving it a thousand. What do you expect for someone? The strong. What's your advice to the youth on your now? The other I only want for the youth that they should collaborate with the government. Help the government. And instead of tribalism, patriotism should be removed. And this is my brother, I will not put you. There are some people who have the opportunity to be in that office. Before they leave there, their younger ones already working in that place. You that apply for that job, who pass the interview, who you congratulate, say, yeah, I congratulate you, you will not get that job. Please, the issue of a kind of a, 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 a tribalism should leave the system. If the government should do that, I believe you, everything will move to a greater height. Thank you very much. Benin City, they they sense.